welcome, welcome one and all to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I am your host, Kevin King. He is I and I am him, the 800 Credit Score Man himself. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming in and listening to the 800 Credit Score Man Show, giving me 30 minutes of your time to so I can try to help you improve your credit scores. So the, air, the show airs at what? 1.30 Central Standard Time on Saturdays. Every Saturday, I'm right here for a half an hour to help you increase your credit scores. Increasing your credit scores lowers those interest rates that you pay, which saves you money. And it's going to be very, very important going forward that you get the highest um, uh, credit score that you can so your interest rate isn't as high because interest rates undoubtedly are going to rise in the year 2017, 2018. So you need to get your credit score up so you don't pay as much money. It's going to cost more to do things that we've done in the past for the last 7, 8, 9, 10 years. It's going to cost us a little more for everyone across the board. So put yourself in the best light by increasing your credit score so you can navigate these waters better than others. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? So this is what I thought about for this show. I thought that I should talk to you about some of the top questions that I get from clients and maybe give you a little insight into um, the conversations that go along um, when, I, when I'm talking to clients. And when I say clients, some of you may may not know that I perform credit restoration. Yes, I don't fix credit. I perform restoration of your credit. So at one point in time, hopefully it was good. Hopefully you didn't start off on the wrong track when you got your very first credit card and when you got your very first car and uh, you had good credit or you had decent credit at least. And if it's fallen now and you think you need it fixed, you think it needed repaired, no, you actually need it restored. We're going to place it back to the former glory um, where it was. So I figured that I would go ahead and uh, give you a little insight on some of the questions that I've, that I've gotten um, over the last couple of weeks. Some of these things have come up um, several times. And so to me, when things like that happen, they come up several times for me from different people, people from all different walks of life, from uh, the East Coast to the West Coast, from North to South then I usually think to myself that it's a issue that the masses might want to hear about. So that's what we're going to do about do we're going to do today on the 800 credit score man show. And hey, before I get started, you know I'm I got to give some shout outs and things of that nature, right? That's what the show does. We give shout outs, we show love to the people that listen uh, to the show. And so I want to give a big birthday shout out to Angie Hudson. Some of you may know her as Kelly Hudson. I want to give her a big happy birthday shout out. Um, she is the mother of uh, a couple of my godchildren. So I want to say happy birthday to you, Angie. She celebrated a birthday um, earlier this week. All right. So let's talk about this first person. So the first person, um, and I've gotten this question. I, actually, it might be the top question I, that I get all the time. How long will it take for me to fix my credit? So I just explained this whole fix, restore thing to you. Um, so I always try to correct them and try to change their mindset from fix to restoration, from fixing or repairing to restore. Because again, you can have your um, brakes fixed on your vehicle. That doesn't mean it's going to go, not going to go bad again. Um, but if you were to have an old school car and you don't fix an old school car, you restore it. You make it as good as it was when it rolled off um, the the uh, showroom floor way back in 1965, 1957, or whatever it is um, that car came from. So I always try to um, correct that mindset because also in that mindset to me is this. The issues that you had in the past that caused you to be in the mess that you are today, those issues could come back again if you don't um, get a different mindset. So if you are a person that is of the mindset that the credit didn't matter, I can go out and charge a bunch of things. I have a bunch of charge offs from credit cards. Um, back in the day, I never had to pay them. Eventually, they fell off, and I was able to navigate through this world fine. If you have that mindset and you continue to have that mindset, you're going to find yourself in the same boat again down the line. So that's why I try to change that mentality. I even say this about people do, who have filed bankruptcy and not everyone that files bankruptcy files it um, because they just overspent. 
they just couldn't handle their debt. A lot of people filed bankruptcy for medical reasons. They filed them because they lost a job. Um, something happened. A lot of people filed bankruptcy after this housing um, crisis in 2007, 2008. They probably lasted to 2010 or maybe even 12. A lot of people filed bankruptcy behind that as well. Um, so not everybody that files bankruptcy files bankruptcy because they just went out and charged up too much debt and they couldn't handle it. Um, so if you are a person, though, that charged up too much debt and you just couldn't handle it and you filed bankruptcy, guarantee you'll repeat the same things if you didn't learn from those lessons. So that's where the restoration comes from and the changing of the mindset. So I often tell people when you have a bankruptcy, um, they often ask, you know, so when can I reestablish credit again? And um, I say you can do so in six months, maybe even nine months when you reestablish credit again. However, you have to know thyself. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, which is at credit score underscore man, sometimes I just tweet know thyself because you have to know yourself and know if you're going to repeat those things again. So if you're a person that just charged up too much debt and you never learned your lesson, um, you do not want to reestablish credit in six or nine months. If you filed bankruptcy for any other reason, medical issue, lost a job, any of those things, then it's perfectly fine for you to go ahead and to try to reestablish and uh, credit in six to nine months as well. All right, so let me get off that soapbox because really the question was, how long will it take me uh, to uh, fix my credit? So here's the answer to that. So where we are today, you know, you got into that bad situation before. So how long will it take you to do this? So my answer typically is as long as it takes so it depends it truly depends on how much damage has been done um, to your credit and your capabilities to erase that damage and how long it will take to do all of that could be four months could be six months could be nine months could be a year could be 18 months um, it just really depends on how bad um, your credit has gotten and when I say how bad your credit has gotten I don't necessarily mean your credit score. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the volume of things that you have on your credit report. So if you have a total of 21 accounts, let's say, on your credit report, and 14 of those accounts are bad, and bad for a number of reasons, a couple of late pays, um, some collections, some things going to charge off, you have a repossession, you filed a bankruptcy. If you have all of those things on your credit report, then it's going to take you a lot longer to recover um, from having those things on there. Now, some people just have, you know, a couple late pays. They might be two, three years old, um, a collection or something like that, um, no repossessions. Then that's not as much to uh, work with. Um, so, so then you don't have as long of a way to go to try to correct those three, four, five things. But if you've got 10, 12, 14 issues on your credit report, then it's going to take a lot longer to try to get that um, credit report back to where it needs to be and to raise your uh, credit score as well. Because timing, and I've talked about timing on the show before, has a lot to do with, with, with what goes on with your credit report and your credit score. The timing and the time. So if you've got time, then of course you can move it a lot faster. And unfortunately too, if you have a good credit score and then you do something in it, um, that's uh, bad for your credit score, then your credit unfortunately seems to fall for in number wise um, a lot lower or a lot faster than someone that already has bad credit. So if you're at the top of the heap, you just have a little further to fall um, than the other ones. And it seems to happen a little faster. So, so that's what I want to say about when you want to restore your credit, how long will it take? It really, it takes as long as it takes. Again, sometimes it's three months, sometimes it's four months, sometimes it's going to be a year, a year and a half. It just depends on how um, big of a hole you've um, dug for yourself and the um, strategies that we can go through to try to get you out of that hole. So that is uh, what a question has come up five, six, seven, eight times over the last two, two and a half weeks. So I had to go ahead and get to that because that's probably the most common uh, question that I get from anyone at all. How long is it going to take? Everybody wants to know that for sure. All right, so let me jump to another question that um, comes up. Um, it seems as though 
um, I've been um, inundated by call with calls um, from people that want to buy a home soon. Everybody seems to want to buy a home. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, that that's the reason that they're trying to get their credit together. Maybe that's common, and it's always been that common. That the only time people really want to uh, worry about their credit scores is when they're about to buy a home or make a big purchase. Maybe even when they want to buy a vehicle or something like that. So the question that I've been getting uh, a lot lately, and fortunately for my clients, um, I dealt in the uh, mortgage industry for six, seven, eight years. I dealt in the mortgage industry, so I'm extremely familiar how underwriting goes, how closing loans happen, and that whole process in itself. So if you are looking to buy a home and you need to have your credit restored or even just your credit taking a look at the C uh, where you think you might fall before you apply for that mortgage, then also you can contact me, 800 credit score man at gmail.com. Again, that's 800 credit score man at gmail.com. Send me an email. And of course, you can always contact me on Twitter if you follow me there. Um, you can hit me in the DMs over there, um, which is at credit score underscore man there. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So then let me get back to this. How soon can I buy a home? It's almost a, um, about the same uh, process or question, really, with uh, how long does it take me um, to restore my credit, not fix, to restore my credit. So um, it depends. Actually, it really depends on where you are right now. What's your score? What kind of home are you trying to buy? Um, what kind of uh, mortgage agency or bank are you going through? Because they all have their different um, parameters that you have to fit. So in this particular scenario, this particular person score was a 505. Now, 505 is in um, no uncertain circumstances, uh, uncertain circumstances, a good score. It is a bad score. So scores run from 300 to 850. And this person has a 505. That's, that puts them in the bad category. Anything under 600 is considered um is considered uh bad for sure um so this person is at a 505 so they've got a lot of work to do they got some places to go um to try to help improve their credit score all right so even the best lender that i know whose name happens to be barry johnson um even the best lender that i know is going to have uh no chance i think at a 505 to get you approved now Barry may be able to get you approved at a 580 or maybe even a 600. So then let's set that as the goal. Let's set that as the goal to get you from this 505 to get you to 600. Now I'm going to give you what, what went on with this particular client. And let's see, when I talked about how bad or how deep a hole you have dug, this particular client, let's see what this particular client um, was dealing with. So, this client had two older, and I'm putting that in air quotes, 30-day um, lates for a couple of credit cards. Um, so what we did um, and what we talked about last week, last week, go back and listen to last week's show. Uh, we talked about goodwill letters and, you know, the kind of letters that you would send to your credit bureau. This is what we did with this particular client. So you've got uh, a couple of um, older 30-day um, lates for some credit cards wrote goodwill letters to those um, particular accounts asking them to remove that from their credit bureau and their history so that they um, could potentially go ahead and buy a home one day. So we had that done. We sent that out and a late payment, as, I, as I've said a hundred times before, a one late payment can lower your credit um, score from 30 to 60 points. So this person is sitting at a 505. They had a couple of lates. You know, potentially they could have been above the 600 and this would not be a problem. But a couple of times being late has forced them to be at a 505. So we sent off a couple of goodwill letters, sent them to both companies at the same time, basically the same letter. We did personalize it, making sure that the one letter said, you know, company XYZ and the other um, letter said company ABC to make sure that we did that and put them in the right envelopes as well. Um, so we did that in about three, four weeks, the companies, both companies actually agreed to go ahead and remove that from the person's um, credit bureau. So that was removed from the person's credit bureau. Um, 